Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. I have here my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. It's the 8.5 by 11 if you're new. And I am going to do my May budget review. So, um, it is going to be a little rough. <laughs> but um, I knew that. So, uh, here is my monthly layout for May. I've already gone and added the stickers for the last week. Now, my schedule got really busy, so we didn't have a chance to go through the week five check-in. So we're going to do the check-in really quickly, and then we're going to add everything in, and then we should be good to go. All right, so let me get my calculator, and I will get my black pen and my blue pens, and I need my red pen because I know that we are over in some categories. So let's go ahead and do this. So first I'm going to add my categories here. So we have, as usual, groceries, gas, restaurants, other, and unbudgeted. All right, so we have that. Now let's go ahead and see what we have. Now, groceries is green. And remember, I go from, um, oh, what was it? Sunday to Saturday. But since this Sunday is um, the last one for May, sorry, you can't see that. Since this Sunday, the 31st, the last one for May, I'm going to include it on the week five check-in just so you know. So the only groceries I had this last week were these two. So, and that's going to set me up really well for June. So I don't have to worry. So two forty five ninety two at Walmart plus two nineteen seventy four at Costco is four sixty five sixty six. So we're going to add that four sixty five. 66 and we were already over by 328.66 so I'm going to add that and that gives us a grand total of being over by $794.32 wow well that's what happens when you have a family that eats a lot so that's for groceries now let me go ahead and check these off I don't know if you can see that. I just checked them off. Now, we are looking if we have any gas expenditures. No, because gas would be pink. So, no gas. So, I can go ahead and just do zero. And then we were left with 31.22. So, that will be the same balance. 31.22. And then we have restaurants, which is dark blue so we had three of those this week we had a treat at Dairy Queen because it was hot that day so $27.62 uh, we got Pizza Pizza $23.92 and then we got Burger King and Burger King was ridiculously expensive we did this through Uber Eats and I don't know man but that's expensive I mean almost $90 on Burger King come on so it's one thirty three fifty two for restaurants, and I'm throwing the cap to my pen all over the place. One thirty three fifty two. So we were already over by seventy six sixty one, which is actually pretty good for my family. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that seventy six sixty one. That gives us a grand total of being over by. $210.13. So that's where we're at so far. Let me go ahead and check these off. We've taken them into account. These bills were taken out. We just have one other and one unbudgeted. So the other, we ended up having to buy a new lawnmower. Our lawnmower that we had, we got it used um, and it did last us a good I want to say 
four years, um, and it was quite used. It was a very old one, but it lasted us a good four years. So we had to get a new lawnmower. So that was definitely unexpected. I am putting it in the other category, although technically it should be an unbudgeted, but, um, well, both categories are already pretty disgusting. So 43204. Now we were already over by 94276. So I'm going to add 43204. That gives us a grand total of 1374 dollars and 80 cents over budget. Yeah. I'm just not going to talk about that. That's just not fun. I mean, they were all reasonable expenses, so, I mean, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? The lawn has to be mowed. I could not have another bylaw officer come and try to give us a ticket. Next, we have Dollar Tree, and honestly, I don't know what I bought at, at Dollar Tree, so I'm just gonna write that total. It was $57.96, so $57.96. And we were already over by three fifty six fifty, so I'll add that. So that means we are over by four hundred and fourteen dollars and forty six cents. That's a lot of money. All right. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and finish this sheet. Now, I do need to calculate what our income was and then calculate this to finish this section and then we are good. So, I did write how much money we received. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and add in. So, my pay, first of all, was $1673.50 plus... I got six seventeen oh nine plus sixteen thirty seven seventy one plus I got a bonus pay from the government of fifteen oh nine seventy one and that is the Canada Child Benefit. Um, we get a payment every month, um, but because of COVID, the government gave I think it was an extra two hundred dollars per child, and I have three kids, so it's an extra six hundred dollars more. So. That means I brought in a total of $5,438.01. So, I'm going to go ahead and write that in here. So that was $5,438.01. So if I subtract what I had budgeted, that is... Um, Plus $2,238.01. So I made more than, or I brought in more than I thought. Now, my husband, he only gets one pay, and then he gets the Canada Emergency Relief Benefit due to COVID because he is a uh, supply teacher or... Um, I think in the States you call it a substitute teacher, and he can't substitute teach, he can't teach, he doesn't have a class, so he applied for that. So uh, I know it's 2000 plus the 903.29, so that's 2903.29 that he got over here, so 2903 dollars and 29 cents. So that was plus, and it's hard to write because of the coil, $903.29. All right. Now, Etsy. I did get some Etsy pay this month. So $19.91 was the first one. $92.46. And then this was an awesome pay, one forty two seventy four, and then thirteen fifty eight. So I got two sixty eight sixty nine from Etsy. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone that purchased anything from my shop. Super, super, super appreciate it because most of this money 
goes to help us pay off some debt. So, super excited. So, I budgeted a conservative 150. So, I'm going to take 150. So, that means I made $118.70. And 69 cents more than I thought, which is super exciting. Now, miscellaneous, um, it was, I believe, just what my mother sent me. I don't see anything else here. So she sent me the money for this. So let's add this up. So 59.80, no, 59.83. Remember, these three were for a shirt she wants me to make for my dad. So eighteen fifty one, and then I pay for her Netflix, which is nine ninety nine, plus she sends me fifty dollars for my dad's cell phone. So one fifty one fifty five is approximately what she would have sent me. One fifty one fifty five. I hope you can still see that. Um, so that means we are plus one fifty one. 55 and this was exactly $2016. So nothing here. So let's add this up, shall we? Hopefully this extra money helps offset all of the extra costs we had. So total income, total actual income was let's see 2903 29 268 69 151 55 plus 2016 that was ten thousand seven hundred and seventy seven dollars and fifty four cents and that was plus twenty two thirty eight oh one plus nine oh three twenty nine plus one eighteen sixty nine plus one fifty one fifty five that was plus so it was three thousand four hundred and eleven dollars and fifty four cents more than I had budgeted which is awesome all right so now that we have our total income let's go ahead and add the rest of our um, information here so first of all for prime if you um, watched any of my other videos you'll know that I've finally figured out what the prime charges are and there are four of them because there's four channels that we watch on our Amazon Prime the first two I put as others not this one another one um, but the last two this one and this one I don't know if you can see that so it's this one and this one I put as bills so these two I'm going to count as bills but for the month of June, if you watched my June budget, I have put all four of them as bills. So six seventy seven plus five sixty four. So we paid twelve forty one is what we actually paid. Well, we paid more than that, but that's what I calculated. I didn't want to have to worry about fixing the other categories, so I just thought I'd leave it there. So that is over according to this budget anyway by. 2.41. Now, <clears throat> the fun part. So, we budgeted, let's see, budgeted $700 for groceries. We were over by $794.32. That means we spent actually a total of $1,494.32. So, I'm going to add that in. So, $1,400. $94.32. So I can just copy this. $794.32. Now, gas, we were under. We only spent, well, we had $31.22 left. So if I do $31.22. Twenty-two. So if I do one hundred minus thirty-one twenty-two, yeah, we spent sixty-eight seventy-eight. So that's good. Then restaurants, we were over by two ten thirteen. So we budgeted two fifty plus two ten thirteen. So that means we spent a total of four sixty. 
13. So I'll just put this 2, 10, 13. Then other, we budgeted 150 and we were over by a whole lot. So um, I'm going to put what we were over by. <laughs> It was $1,374.80. So $1,374.80 plus the $150. So that means we did spend a total of $1,524.80. Not cool. <laughs> And then unbudgeted, I didn't budget anything, of course, so we were over by $414. I hate writing on the coil. And 46 cents. So that means we spent $414.46. Now, the bank fees were $15.95 times 2. I didn't budget for those this month, but I have 4 um, June. So that means for that month we are over by thirty-one ninety. All right. Now I'm probably gonna fast forward through the section. I'm gonna go ahead and add this all up and find a total. And then add this up and find a total, and then I will come right back. Here we go. So if I calculated everything right, the total here is $7,461.16. That was our expenses for the month of May. And if I added this correctly, we were over budget by $2,749.19. Now, if I know how to do math, which I don't, but hopefully the calculator is right. If I were to take this and subtract, or no. Yeah, if I take that and subtract that, it should give me that, right? So if I go 7, 4, 6, 1, 16 minus 4, 7, 1, 1, 97, 2, 7, 4, 9, 19. Hey! So that is what we were over budget by. Now, does it really matter? So total potential saving when we first did our budget was $2,654.03. Now I have my new income, which is $10,777.54. And if I subtract the $7,461.16, I should have a savings of $3,316.38. Now, if you watched my June budget, this is not the amount I rolled over because I added sinking funds. I added money into my sinking funds, which is not reflected here. And that's one thing with trying to figure all of this out and adding my sinking funds and everything. It's still all very new. So I'm still kind of working out the kinks. So if you watched my June budget, you'll see I added a line item in here for sinking funds. Um, so some of this money, a lot of it, has gone into sinking funds for the month of May. And then the rest was rolled over. So if I give you a quick peek to the June budget. So rollover was $2,970. So that means about 300 300 and some odd dollars went to sinking funds. Um, actually, a little bit more because I pulled some extra money out, but about 
$300 from this budget went to sinking funds and I rolled over $2,970. So that is where we're at for the month of May. I hope that helps give you an idea of where we're at and what your budget could look like. Um, hopefully you don't have as much red as I do and I am working on it. We, our family is working on it. We are already doing much better um, at the start. It is still just the start of June, but we are already doing much better. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of these expenses, like a new lawnmower, that kind of thing is pretty much done for the summer. Plus, um, having started my sinking funds should help with um, not having as many unexpected expenses. So I'm hopeful, but this is where we're at, and this is good to look at. It is scary, but it is good to look at. It is good to see where all of your money is going. Am I terrified at the fact that I spent almost $1,500 on groceries? Yeah, it's a lot of money, but you know what? You have to eat. My children have to eat. I'm not going to deny them food. If ever I need more money for groceries, I will pull from somewhere else because I don't care how much money I have to spend, but I will feed my children good food and they have been eating well. I kept the 700 because that's what I had been doing before, pre-COVID, and even then I should have been eating, we should have all been eating at home a lot more because our restaurant budget was ridiculous pre-COVID. So now I have a better idea of exactly how much we do eat in a month. Some of this, however, is for the start of June. So what I might do is I might leave this budget well, I already have for the month of June. I've left it close to 700. I think I went to 850 groceries. Yeah, 850 is what I went up to. So I increased it by $150 because I already spent a lot of money here in the last week and that will carry us into June. Then in the next couple months, so I'll take May, June, and maybe July, and then I'll find an average and then see what a realistic groceries budget looks like for our family. So for now, I'm just looking at all of this and I'm I'm taking it in, trying to see where we're at, see where we're spending our money um, so that I can make more informed decisions moving on. So anyways, that was a long spiel. I apologize, but I hope this helps give you an idea of how you can set up your budget and things you can do to make your money go farther um, so that you aren't stuck with anything. So Anyways, that's essentially my May budget review. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe if you are new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will link my June budget up in a card up here so that you can um, watch it if you haven't already. As I said, I have made a few changes, but yeah, everything is negotiable, I say. So I will see you in my next video. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.